it here, throw it here. Hello. Oh, look. Nice day, isn't it? Whoa, nice streak. Nice throw. Thank you. Loads of potential here, don't you think? It's the kind of neighborhood that, whoa. Sorry, sir. Oh, close one. Kids, huh? Always on the move. Sort of like the real estate business. You know, every day you have an opportunity to let consumers know what makes you and Remax unique. Whoa, are you all right? Saved himself some stitches for sure. And quite possibly a hospital visit. You know, over 9.2 million kids go to the ER every year. That's a lot of kids every day. Fortunately, most accidents and sniffles are easily taken care of by Dr. Mom or Dad, but some require serious attention. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Look around. What do you see? Just a typical day in a typical neighborhood, right? But look more closely, and what do you notice? One of these homes is different. One of them recognizes that kids and families need our support and that selling houses is not just about sales, but about building a community of caring. And sometimes, kids need our help in a big way. Children's hospitals know this. Every day, they treat thousands of kids with trauma, cancer, diabetes, and many other debilitating illnesses. Remax knows this as well. And that's why, for over 25 years, Remax associates throughout the US and Canada have contributed over $157 million to Children's Miracle Network hospitals. And this family is about to know it as well. What's a miracle home? I don't know. Let's find out. When a Remax agent designates a listing as a miracle home, they make a donation to their local CMN hospital, after closing, on behalf of their client. It's a very easy program to get involved with. One thing I have found that just about every seller I have has known somebody that's been treated by a children's hospital somewhere in North America. So when they hear about the program, they're touched. Uh, I would even say that I probably even want a listing because of, of the program. It does set us apart, you know. It's, it's, I call, leading with the heart. Participating agents agree. Being a miracle home agent is a win-win for them and their clients, and it can be an integral part of their strategy to boost repeat and referral business. But mostly, they just tell us it just feels good to help sick kids and their families. I'm Dr. Jay Albright, Surgical Director of Sports Medicine here at Children's Hospital Colorado. The majority of kids that I see are sports-related injuries, car accidents, or congenital deformities. Frequently, these kids will need six, seven, eight surgeries. And when we think about the costs of those numbers of surgeries, it's not even close to insignificant because of the generosity of people like Remax. I don't have to worry about whether they have all the money in the world or whether they don't have any funds other than to put food on the table. I'm able to do the same treatment for anybody. Children's Miracle Network hospitals are some of the best in the country because of that support that we get. It goes towards research funding, it goes towards a treatment, whether it's a cancer or whether it's a ACL reconstruction like I would do. All the funds donated in that region stay in that region. So when you're giving to a Children's Miracle Network Hospital, you're giving to your community so your community can get the best care in their local region and they don't have to go anywhere else. I turned away zero kids last year. It's impactful. That's the beautiful thing about Children's Miracle Network. We can take a kid or a parent in their darkest hour and help them through that. Remax has taught me that selling homes is their business, but giving back to their local community is their passion. It's true, Remax was built on a culture of giving. In fact, thousands of agents participate each year and are provided CMNH branded marketing materials, sign writers, and online tools to help their participation. It only takes a few minutes to submit your donation, order an honor card for your client, and change a child's life. My son was diagnosed with stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma at the age of eight. It was one of the scariest times of our life and went through uh, seven months of treatment and uh, seven weeks of radiation. It's amazing, even with good insurance, what treatment costs. And as a parent, you don't care what the treatment costs. So for us, it's very personal. 
With CMN hospitals treating one in 10 kids in North America every year, Lindsay's right. It is personal, very personal. Daddy, daddy! Oh, hi, Angel. Make a difference in your community. Let's make every home a miracle home. Put your money where the miracles are.